Lady of Holy Cross College. You're taught service. You're taught that if God has given you much, much is expected. And so part of a Holy Cross education is service, is giving back to the community. To me, that's what the world needs. It needs more of that cultivating of the heart. You can have all the brains you want, but if you don't have that compassion, which comes back to our Marianite charism, then you know, we're not gonna change the world. Through the people that you talk to, they'll all have their human interest story that goes back to the to the generosity of, of this, this, these religious that started in France 200 years ago, you know, and came to Louisiana. Far away in France, a new beginning. Father Basil Moreau founded the Marianites of Holy Cross, a growing congregation of sisters who would travel to faraway mission fields, including the strange and wild new world called America. They would bring with them the desire to spread the gospel and the love of education. One phrase that really is used in all of the Holy Cross institutions is, the mind will not be cultivated at the expense of the heart, not only for the next life, but for this life as well. In those days, the mission of many religious men and women would expand in response to a desperate call for help. And the history of schools in New Orleans is the story of yellow fever, typhoid, and malaria. So Bishop Antoine Blanc issued a call to all religious communities in the United States to come here and staff orphanages because people were dying. As epidemic after epidemic spread through the New Orleans area, more and more children were left alone. In 1849, three of the Marianite sisters heard the call for help and hurried to St. Mary's Orphan Asylum in New Orleans. There they found 75 starving boys crowded into the orphanage. The sisters begged for food, found benefactors, and thanks to the help of the Ursuline nuns nearby, they survived and thrived. The ministry kept evolving, and, and, and as New Orleans was only a microcosm of what was happening in the United States at the time, girls had no opportunity for education. Eventually, with the help of generous friends, the sisters were able to buy some property, a block along what is now St. Claude Avenue. The price was $275. They wanted to build a school for girls. That was in 1861. That same year, Louisiana seceded from the Union, and the country was at war with itself. Despite Union occupation of New Orleans, uncertainty, and food shortages, the sisters started building. In 1862, laying the cornerstone of what would become Academy of Holy Angels. The Marionites had more schools in New Orleans, metropolitan New Orleans, and probably the state than any other religious, uh, religious order of women. In 1932, the State Board of Education gave its stamp of approval to Holy Cross Normal School a two-year program. In 1938, the sisters proved they could meet current requirements, and the state gave them permission to operate a four-year college under the name Holy Cross Normal College. In the afternoon of Saturday, April 2, 1960, a crowd of nearly a thousand people came to witness the dedication and blessing of the new provincial house, novitiate, and college. Two days later, the Marianites moved in leaving behind the familiar at Academy of Holy Angels. We came here, Holy Cross was here, but none of these subdivisions were here, and so it was kind of like the college in the woods. They did bring with them to this new world some of the old furniture from the Academy. Even the chandelier in the front hall moved with them. One thing that did not make the move, the name. In honor of the first school set up by their founder in France, Notre Dame de Saint-Croix, it would now be known as Our Lady of Holy Cross College. 